Series E funding, how much, from whom, what does it do for you? What, what are you going to use it for? Yeah, so we actually went out to raise $250 million, but raised $350 million as there was tremendous demand uh, to participate in the offering. It's really our last round of financing prior to going public. We're going to use the money to just accelerate the acquisition of rights to kind of build our vertical e-commerce business. So as I think you know, for Fanatics, our business is very different than most e-commerce companies. Most of what we sell, it's either vertical, we design, develop, and make that merchandise, or it's exclusive. And that's what makes the business so special. And so we're really going to use the capital to just accelerate and pick up the pace of bringing rights on as we globalize the business, continue to drive into college and soccer, as well as building our core uh, pro sports business. I, I always forget the, the history of it, and I don't like reliving it because you've been so incredibly successful and I'm just, you know, still sitting here. But but you started, you, it, this was a stub. Wasn't Fanatics a stub that you, you had for, it's just, was it worth, how much was it worth when you started? And you sold the the other stuff for billions. So yeah, go so back eBay and just bought, tell us real e quickly what was. eBay bought, bought, bought um, GSI Commerce in 2011 for $2.4 billion. We bought back Fanatics for about $300 million, but it was a completely different company. It was a, less than $300 million business. There was really like a Zappos selling other people's merchandise. Today, Fanatics will be more than $3 billion in revenue next year. It's got one of the most unique models in e-commerce anywhere in the world. Really, again, building this verticalized e-commerce model that serves fans so well. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I, I feel like we're just getting started in the business. So it really doesn't look yeah. anything like what we acquired uh, nearly a decade ago from eBay. So three hundred million to uh, to six point two billion just just so far. So if if you're doing something else, just you'll you'll let us know, right? Or just give me an idea, or or you know, not on this forum, but you know, just just let me know. Uh, so let's let's go to Andrew, not you. Uh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, I mean, sports. If you if you had your entire business dependent on sports, the last six months. You look at a, a, a Fox or something, or, or you look at a network that's dependent on, on sports revenue, you would think that it, it, there was basically, it, it was almost a wasteland. But I don't think that's really happened, has it, with Fanatics? And, and will the pent-up demand, because we all want sports to be will that get back what you may have lost in, in the last six months? Yeah, it's really been interesting. Let me, there's two parts to that question. Let me start with Fanatics first. So Fanatics is... 82% of our business is direct to consumer, and 90% of that is e commerce. Our business year to date, through yesterday, our e commerce business is up 30%. So without having sports for five months, we're still up 30%. Now, the other small part of our business, where we operate venues in about 50 stadiums uh, for the merchandise stores, and we also have a wholesale business that sells to retailers, that business was severely impacted by the pandemic, the same as anybody else operating a wholesale business. But the good thing for Fanatics is we're 82% direct to consumer and 90% of that is e-commerce. So our business has been really strong through the pandemic. I think that just shows how much sports fans really miss their their, their teams and, the, and they really yeah. want to be involved. We also sell a lot of comfortable clothes, which I think is great for the pandemic. Um, since sports have come back, uh, business has been spectacular. I just looked this morning. Uh, since the NBA restarted, we're up more than 100% against last year. The NHL is up more than 200%. Baseball's up around 50%. The NFL year-to-date's up 80% since January 1st. So we've seen tremendous growth in spite of not having sports for, for five months. Um, you know, I think the thing that everyone's thinking about the sports business is how do you get the right combination of keeping um, our players and our fans safe while making sure that we still provide the entertainment and excitement that you get from sports? And that's a very careful balance. You see what's happening in college today. And, you know, it's, it's tricky, but I think from a fanatic's perspective, Having this incredibly unique business that sells vertical merchandise and exclusive merchandise that you know most people don't have access to makes our business very strong, you know, during any period of time. And the most exciting thing, again, we're just getting started. Fanatics, you know, well, we have 10x, as you mentioned, since you know we bought the business back in 2011. We are really just getting started to have so much growth ahead for us.